Hello everybody, my name is Jar Chris, and welcome back to some Skyrim's Forgotten Quests. Today I'm going to be doing the quest Coming of Age, which is an absolutely unmarked quest. You'll find it over here, right to the north of Nightgate Inn. Let's remove that map marker real quick. At Ironbind Barrow. This one's also interesting because it's where you can get a one-of-a-kind unique enchantment. Which is one of the better enchantments in the game, in my opinion, honestly. Fiery Soul Trap. Which also means, since it's two enchantments in one enchantment, if you use that enchantment, when you have the dual enchantment... Oh. We must gather our strength. Who knows what's inside? Treasure, that's what. Get off your scaly rump and let's go. Hush, Salma. We aren't alone. So as I was saying before we get too far into this, if you use the fiery soul trap enchantment while you have the dual enchantment perk... You can actually have four or three enchantments on one item. Uh, I don't care what Beam says. It's high time we get in there and find our fortune. What do you expect to find inside? Gold, silver, gems maybe? Only one way to find out. What's going on? I don't care what Beam says. Oh, all right. It's high time we get I don't in know there about you. Find our fortune. I don't know about you, but I'm going in there. Not without us, you aren't. I'm sure there's enough for everyone, after all. Come on, Beam Joff. We're going. You can't take yourself that easy. Let's see what's here. All right, let's head on in. So it seems like there was just that girl arguing with the Argonian about coming in here, and once I decided I was going to go in, she was like, "All right, we got to go in now, right?" If you guys are enjoying the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Really helps out, makes me know that I'm growing. There. Actually, I um this last week was one of my better weeks for growth. I mean, I got like five subscribers in one week, which like not a crazy amount, but when you're a small channel and you go from 16 subscribers to 21 in one week, it's actually very encouraging. Seems we have a powerful giant frostbite spider. I will use my level up to avoid dying right there. <clears throat> Put that into my one-handed damage. I would also encourage you guys to leave a comment. Tell me what quest you would like to see, marked or unmarked. This quest is all about doing the ones that people may not know about, which is why I like this quest, because, you know, it's... A short one, but it's also one that you just this walk past, usually. Found tomb. Well, there must be a way through. Look around. Alright, we need to find a way to get through that door. First, I'll make sure to loot everything. Oh, I almost slingshotted myself. Seems that there's a handle over here on the left side, which I'm going to assume opens the door. Which it does. There's a trap door here. I don't know if you'd fall in it. I believe this quest is leveled, so you can do it at any level. Like most quests in Skyrim, but some of them do have like set tough bosses. But this one I'm pretty sure just stays leveled, so you can do it while walking by. I know I usually do it when I'm like walking to Dawnstar at a low level. I just pass through here sometimes, you know, I take this road, but I come over here. I would do the quest at Silverdrift Lair, which I may do in the next video. And then I would do this quest here, and then I'd head to Dawnstar. Because I used to um go to Dawnstar at the beginning of every um playthrough and grab the chest up there. Which I must assume that most of you know about. The chest that is attached to the Khajiit Caravan. You can just find it in a rock over next to the iron mine. You're as good as it's just another one of those early quests. This one that is good for getting some loot. As long as you don't impale yourself multiple times. Cleared out, I guess. Oh, 
There's not really much else other than spiders and Draugr in this dungeon, if I recall correctly. Let's see if I can get this open. It's one of my least favorite things to do while recording a video is lockpicking, because to focus I like to be quiet, but I feel like when you're um, commentating a video game you shouldn't just have long periods of quietness. Although, I don't know, like, what do you guys think? Because I know there are some people who are successful just playing the game, they only, only interject when it's, like, natural. And then there's some people who also have success where they just interject 24-7. And just kind of commentate everything that they're doing. I feel like I do a little bit of both. I mean, I obviously, I'm quiet when I'm fighting. But I think that's just because it's a little hard for me to focus on two things at once. Seems we have a pole chain over here, so. Oh, I bet that's opening that, yep. <clears throat> Make sure to snatch all these potions. Let's clear the place out first. Then we'll gather our loot. Ooh, what's this? Oh, you know what? I never knew that was here. I always just knew that you could pick that up to open the gate. Learn something new every day. Although I have only done this quest like maybe twice. Seems we have the final boss room already. Some skeletons. Now I do know that you want to make sure to keep the um, Argonian alive. If you can. Wow, that guy does a ton of damage. And I have to sneeze, so if you hear a cut in the middle of this, that's why. Alright, excuse me. Take all these healing potions and see if there's anything else. I think you just use a cold shout, so I'll take that. Increase my light armor. Activate the weak poison. Yeah, he is very tough. And I also believe that whatever her name can die. Man, this guy is strong. Ooh, I can use this. Or this. Oh man, why do you got a power attack me? I think the Argonian may have already died, which will be a shame, or would be a shame. Come on, run in the circle. The whole point of it was to damage you. There we go. Now he's supposed to run away. I would say level 10 is probably more of an appropriate level for this quest. Ooh, you know what? I have that. Knock him over, get some good hits in. Alright, that's him. Warlord Gathric, he has a couple black soul gems. Spell Tome, and nothing else of importance. So over here we have the Word Wall. Has one of the Become Ethereal shouts. Yes. I don't know if I, um messed this up. I don't know where the Argonian guy is. I 
Alright, where are you, man? I don't see him dead anywhere. Which is usually a good sign. Could just be in here. Where did he go? Huh, that's interesting. I don't know if I just, like, missed him. Or if he died in the fighting. But he is supposed to interject and, like, betray us. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll finish this up and then... I will cut and you will see what happens when he talks to us because right yes. now this is just glitched and broken but as you can see right here the um, steel battle axe of fiery souls it's technically unique but it's better off if you just disenchant it in the get out of here you just head on over there climb up these stairs very very long windy stairs And go out the overlook. And it is actually quite the nice view. And you get some extra loot for it. And I believe you can walk up here to a um, dragon place. Correct? Yeah, right up here. Ooh, this is actually that um unique dwarven area where the, there's potions on top of this that you can shout off. And a couple of dwarven chests. But there's also an ice wraith. So I will dodge out of here because I am a too low of a level to fight an ice wraith. But yeah, guys, that's it for this quest. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, come back for more. Hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. You're going to see a quick cut here and you will see the um, unique dialogue between that Argonian and the Red Guard woman. Goodbye. Fool. I should thank you. I knew the girl wouldn't be strong enough to help me kill Gathric alone. There's just one more thing I need from you. To fully absorb Gathric's power, I require a blood sacrifice. Your blood should be good enough. This will go easier for us both if you don't bother fighting back. Never should have come here. Watch it! Fimja! Father never trusted Beam. I always thought he was just being overprotective. Look, I never needed treasure. My father owns land. Our family is wealthy. I just wanted adventure. Not this. Go on without me. I think I need to be alone for a while. Alright guys, so there is also a note on Beamjaw's body that you can read. As well as a skill book. So there's the letter to Beamjaw. You go in here and you read it. And sorry that you can hear my mouse and keyboard clicking. I'm recording this after and I'm just on, a, um, on my mouse and keyboard and not my um, controller. So here it is. Beamjaw, keep my daughter safe and you'll earn both your freedom and that damn book you wanted so badly. By the divines, if any harm comes to her, I'll help. I'll make sure everyone I do business with will help hear about what you did in Black Marsh. Sorry about my choppy reading, I'm not. For some reason, when you put me behind a microphone, I'm not that great. But yeah, guys, that's it. I got everything on camera now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hello everybody, my name is Jarl Chris, and you just finished watching one of my videos. Obviously, if you made it this far, you probably enjoyed it, so if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more. Leave a comment down below if you have any advice for me, or if you want to see something else and you need to tell me. Other than that, hope you have a nice rest of your day. See you again. Bye-bye.